I got some good news for you. And I know you're already feeling it. You are already feeling it because it kind of started last week. Scorpio, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot and the weekly astrology forecast for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Thanks, guys, for all your love and support over the years. You guys rock. And I'm telling you, it's it. this is like... Oh, I gotta get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Scorpio, there's always an extended reading. Um, that link is down below. I'll attach to the top of the um, description box. I will pin it to the top of the comment section. And I also attach it to the end of this video. So right when this message st stops, the extended, you could click right on it. Um, this is your reading, so please take whatever resonates. It's like apply it to where it is ap applicable in your life. And the message is going to come to you when it's supposed to come to you. So the astrology is from, I believe, the 20th through like the 27th. But that's when everything pops off. It doesn't mean that's when it reaches you. So just take the vibrations as they come. But this is for the next seven days from when you see this video. It's the fucking but I got to tell like, listen. Last week's video, I could already feel something mounting, right? It, 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 was, it was kind of obvious. But this full moon, this full moon is liberation for you. And I'm sorry, it's not a full moon. It's a new moon. This new moon is liberation. It is legitimately when you are get, get a new chance. It's not rebirth. It's like everything is just, you're done. You're done. Refresh, fresh start. Scorpio this week you got no more fucks to give and you're in such a position of power why am I so excited because Pluto predominantly for most of this week except for the beginning of this week where there's like a quincunx to Mars which means that you're challenging your oppressors you are challenging and I, why do I say this because simultaneously while Mars is quincunx to Pluto which is your ruling dignitary Mars is your traditional ruling dignitary this is all between you it's between me myself and I right but then Mars has a sextile the Chiron the whole fucking week why is that so exceptional sextile to Chiron are just like damn you're breaking free you're about to make good on a, I'm reading it. I'm reading it off the sheet. You're about to make good on a lot of fucking suffering and you're not taking no shit anymore. And it's almost like, yes, the pain has made it all worth it. Here I am, I'm free, I'm liberated. This is like straight up, almost like what I imagine would be almost like how it feels to come into yourself after a long dark night of the soul or after like all that fear and suffering people must have experienced on the underground railroad to finally reach a place in their life when they are they are they have authority over themselves like this is liberation from all those those things in your head those belief systems or even anybody on the outside who is trying to do some shit to you which we discussed last week and i will definitely attach that reading at the end of this video as well if you want to go back and watch it but legitimately after that new moon pluto was unaspected unaspected in a full house so it's almost like mm, Thank you for finally arriving. Everybody else is up in the house and Pluto has been there for a while. This is like, you're doing it my way. You're, you're doing it the way that I set this bitch up, okay? I wanna break free. That's what this is. I want to break free and you do. You are untethered. You, there's a, a, an essence of power and authority about you, personal power and personal authority this week because that Pluto is unaspected with a full house of people that are just catching on to what y'all motherfuckers have been saying for a long fucking time. So let's get in. I am so excited for you. Let's get into the cards. Let's get into it. Oh, I want to break free. Open to infinite possibilities. That's your star card right there. Get to wishing because your wishes are about to be fulfilled. No, let's talk about this. These are goals and aspirations. This is elevating. This is you finally being able to live at a level or have hope again. Like feel like there's something on the other side of this bullshit right? No more fear. No more fear. No more fear of fear. No more hiding. No more being oppressed or being in chains. 
open to infinite possibility. You got many, many choices. You got a lot to choose from, my friends. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. If there's a prominent Aquarius in your life, keep that in mind because I want to see how the other cards impact this energy. And then we have, we have reclaim your power. That's right. Reclaim your power from whatever was oppressing you, especially if it was you. Because a lot of times, like last week, it was all like Pluto, Pluto quincunx to Mars. It's like sometimes it was you. The fight, the struggle was inside of you. But now it's like I got my power back. I know who I am. My ball's done. My ball's done dropped. Okay. And they're so big. I rock back and forth when I sit down because that's where you are right now. This sense of finally coming into your own strength and finally coming into your own power. Reclaim your power. You are taking back what you have lost. You are, you are taking back what the pain and suffering has, has stripped of you. You are taking back air and life. That's what you're taking back. I just felt this overwhelming sense of just freedom. We have trust in divine detours and take a leap of faith. Go for it. Now, with, with Pluto on aspect that there's going to be a lot of craziness in terms of a lot of surprises. There's expect the unexpected and don't try to expect what the unexpected is going to be. It, the, the thing is this, you're going to realize you have the power to take on anything. You really don't have to be afraid. It's like being able to walk down the street and not have to be afraid or not have to be worried because now you have authority and self, you, you know, you have authority over you. Um, this is Sagittarius and this is Sagittarius energy. It could mean to li literally take a leap of faith or have faith in a Sagittarius in your life or what went down in Sagittarius season. It could also mean travel, jump, go. Get out of your comfort zone. Get out of town. Get out of the country. L allow yourself to just be somewhere else and be somebody else. Like be free from, it's almost like you're free from everybody else's expectations. You know, because this is the time when you finally proved everybody wrong. When everybody that, everybody gets on board with what you've been talking about for I don't know how long. This is like finally people are starting to see what you have been saying. Or like they're listening. They're listening now. So you could take advantage of that too and you should. People are, it's like you got the power. You got the mic. There's no obligations here. So go ahead, go ahead, go ahead go at it. You could be talking in multiple languages. You could be speaking to many different types of people. It's saying, it's saying, do it. It's saying like, try on this. Like you have potential to go anywhere is basically what it's saying. Trust and divine detours. There are going to be some surprises that are thrown at you. I do want to get into specifically what those surprises are. This is still part of the buildup. I feel, okay, come at me, come at me. Come at me, Scorpio. The energy is gaining momentum. You're fucking right it is. It's been gaining momentum for a while. And then hold your vision. I know. Yeah, exactly. So, but I want to say trust in divine detours and take a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith that people are going to catch on. Take a leap of faith. It's almost like now you have the strength to know that if they're not caught up with me, they will. But I'm going to move at my own pace. I am not in a position anymore. This is you, Scorpio. You are not in a position anymore to wait up for motherfuckers. You, they, a hundred percent, you are, you'll catch up to me when you can. I know you will. That's part of what having faith is. They will catch up. The energy is gaining momentum and hold your vision. You can start to feel that you are starting to get support for something that you have said or stuck with for, since, since day one, since day one. Okay. This is legitimately you getting your way. <laughs> okay. But we want to, we want specifics. So, okay. Sum it up for me, God. You're walking away from the shit that doesn't serve you. You're now finally untethered. This is a sense of, I'm not, you're, you're like, I'm not doing any work. I'm not doing this work anymore. 
I've tried and I've tried and I've tried and now uh, the cup is runneth dry and it's not my fault. So I'm walking away from this. This is legitimately you empowering yourself to admit when you don't care. It's not about admit, admitting defeat. It's to admit that you don't give two shits anymore. That you have no more fucks to give. I've no more fucks to give. My cups have runneth dry. And that is exactly what it is. That is exactly what it's saying. You got no more fucks to give. Not You're not even feeling guilty. Queen of Pentacles is here. You are taking charge of your own. You are competent. You're competent in and of yourself. And you're not letting anybody else make you feel like you have responsibility. Nope. Nope. That's it. Six of Swords is you are moving on from a lot of struggle, a lot of sadness. And your struggle and your sadness is what's fueling this move. It is what's helping you go in a new direction. I want to see exactly d detours. What are these detours? What are the surprises that Scorpio is going to incur? Two of Cups. This is love. Divine detours in your relationship or who loves you. This is a sense of admitting, you know what? This shit ain't working out because you got five of pentacles. So if you have been in that toggle point, that's those fucking relationships. Like I said, Venus is all up in Capricorn right now, which is exactly where Pluto is. Pluto's making changes in that Capricornian energy, which is some hardcore shit. Venus ain't taking shit anymore either. This is a sense, this is a, this is a mentality of if it don't make sense, I'm not putting up with it, right? I'm, I'm not, I'm seeing this practically. And honestly, it, I'm, you're not lost in romance anymore. You're not, you're not, you're kind of freed from or liberated from that sense of ooey gooeyness that keeps you stuck. You're not stuck anymore at all. <laughs> no, no, you're basically saying that guess what? You're acknowledging that this is over. This this has been over. This has been finished. Um, I'm not holding on to this uh, obligation or these feelings. Somebody is, is done. It's like you're accepting the ending. And I know it's like, how is that good news? So my relationship is any Not good relationships, motherfuckers, please. Come on. It's the shit that you know has been building. That's what you're not taking anymore. That's what you're walking away from. That's what you're putting no more energy into. And relationships, even though Two of Cups does tend to, it does, it absolutely means romance. But you could also apply this to your partnerships at work, partnerships and friendships. This is a sense of accepting defeat, accepting that if I don't keep up the hard work, nothing then then there really is no relationship and there's a sense of okay i got no more fucks to give then because i worked my ass off i worked my ass off and that's what it is and it's almost like i feel so good right now i probably shouldn't feel so good but i feel really good you might have an aries that's been giving you a real heartache a real kind of feeling of worry maybe not suffering or sickness but like worry really worried about about you know can i take charge of my own life will i have the strength emperor is upright you will absolutely have the strength and you know what if this is an actual aries that has been bugging you or whatever kind of person that's been trying to dominate you or take control of your life that they've really been like digging in they've really been like uh like uh, not necessarily manipulative i think they've been very direct actually it's you've been worried about it. You've been worried about it. It, it. You don't care anymore. So what is this divine detour though? What is actually going to happen? Spell it out. Spell it out. One, one card came out. Seven of wands. Divine detour. This is not giving up on what you believe in and standing up for what you know is right. And I think maybe there's a sense of you didn't or didn't feel empowered to stick up for yourself or stand up for whatever or whoever you're standing up for, but you are definitely standing up for them. And you, you know, it's almost like, it's almost like it's been bothering you. This whole sense of control or whatever authority is in your life. You've been, it's been bothering you. You've been, you've been frustrated and you have been worried, but at this point you ain't taking no shit anymore. Seven of wands is there. That's the divine detour. I think in a way they're going to be shocked. They're going to be surprised that you got no more fucks to give and you don't care and you're walking away. But you don't care. It's not heartlessness and it's not apathy. It's completion. It's done. 
it is like I am done. Like I have really exhausted every outlet here. So there's nothing else. They're like there, I've completed it's completion. It's completion. Think of it like that. What is it? And there you are. There you are. In your own reading. Showing up like a little super diva. Death. Done. Peace the fuck out. No, but see, when the death card is upright, it means I'm renewed. I got my power back. My phoenix has risen. I can fly again. You know, this is a sense of getting yourself back. So whatever has been making you lose yourself, and please leave the comments below. Um, you know I'm a nosy bitch, and you know I want to know. Um, whatever has been making you feel like you are losing yourself, I will tell you this right now, you are not. You have you are just gotten yourself back. The worst has happened. It's like the resurrection after the heartache, after the ruination. Because if something happens to you this week that ends and really rips your heart out, almost immediately you'll be able to be like, then why do I feel so free? Because this may be somebody walking away from you. And ultimately what that means is like, it's almost like it's going to relieve you of a burden. And that's fine. That's good. The fact that the Ace of Wands is here is saying that guess what? This ending is going to lead directly into a new beginning. You have the Ten of Swords, which is, you know, complete and total ending. It's finished. It's done. But the pain and suffering is done too. Like it can't get any worse than where it's at. And so new ideas, inspiration. Okay, so where are we headed? Where are we headed? I did not look into the astrology past this week. So what can we expect? We have the seven of pentacles and then we have the empress. This could actually be about work or finance and money. Pluto is after all in Capricorn. So it's all about what you've been trying to build into the world. Seven of pentacles is you've been failing. There's been failure here. There's been, there's been a sense of it's not getting me anywhere. It's not going anywhere. So whatever you've been failing at, whatever you've been failing at, guess what? You become the master of. And that's what I told you, like in the beginning of the week, that quincunx to Mars and Mars being sextile to Chiron, which I love. This sense of any past hurt, past actions. Oh, and let me say this for those of you who are still watching because you're smart and you know this is like where the message begins. <laughs> like, um, if you have actual injuries, like you've actually hurt yourself, your neck, your legs, stuff like that, like think about anything, any injury, this is you healing from it. Or you've, yeah, and you're, you're able to move on from the pain and you're able to regain access or mobility. You're re able to regain energy because guess what also happens this week? Jupiter plops back into Aries. And that's really good because it's almost, because, because, Mars is going to be impacted wherever Mars is about what's happening in Aries. And so there's this, Mars is currently in retrograde, but there's this charge to Aries energy that is ruled by Mars that I think is really going to help out the momentum. And anyway, you're on this planet. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel like that we've got our vitality back. Jupiter went direct oh, a couple weeks ago, but this is really when you're going to feel it when Jupiter goes back into Aries and there's just like, Boom, expansion. So we're talking about the Empress, which means that you get jobs, you get financed, you get money, you are really sitting pretty. I can ask how, but I think the how is you. The how is that all of this stuff you've added up to making it work out for you, to make all, all the struggles become what your fuel is, what is, what is, what is pushing you forward. But I think we want more details. We're going to get into specifics in the extended. Let me just put, turn over this card for you. The hermit is here. So a lot of this had to do with faith and walking in the dark and allowing yourself to just see. Like, I'd rather, I'd rather be out in the wild. And Pluto, untethered, is absolute wild. It is, you're at total peace with your id, with your shadow. 
You're at total peace. And when you don't fear yourself and you don't fear the boogeyman, you are totally free to go wherever you want. So whatever has been chasing you or hounding you, that fucking monkey is dead. It is off your back. It's no longer hounding you because you faced it. Because you faced it. You face that bitch and you're wilder than it is. I'll tell you that right now. We have the hermit and that is hard work deciding day to day. You've been keeping something. Have you been keeping secrets? Okay, so this is something that you did not know because we got two of swords, judgment and the king of wands here. So this is definitely something that you did not know, an action that somebody was going to, that is taking, that kind of takes you by storm, but it's upright, so it's not malicious, and even though you may not have, it's on the, it's on the new moon, it's all, all of a sudden it's like this making peace with things that don't make sense to you, or information is finally going to come in about somebody and about, about a judgment that somebody was waiting for, especially a fire sign. Think back to Aries. Let's go to the extended. I got to continue this. I'll see you guys there.